people are asking if the owl is violent. The owl? Violent? Me? Let's talk. So, there's no easy answer to this. It really comes down to the situation. You see, there's a lot of bad actors in this movie. I'm not one of them, but there's a lot of bad actors in this movie. So what does an owl, a purple owl like me do when these bad actors come at me? You know, they got a saying, kids, come at me, bro. There's a lot of bad actors in this movie. I'm not one of them. Maybe it's the man. I don't know. They don't like me because I'm a purple owl. I don't know. But there's a lot of bad actors in this movie. Now, defense and violence have often been conflated for millennia. Let me give you a scenario. Suppose you had a rogue state on your tail. Suppose you say this rogue state was known to be rogue in nature. Suppose this rogue state had a rogue leader governing it. Suppose this rogue leader ordered the rogue state to harm the purple owl. Think you defend yourself? Defense and violence have been confused with one another for millennia. Let's talk about how we define a rogue state. You know, like the United States. I mean, Tough out here for a purple owl like me. These cats don't even treat the people who built the country right. So what you think they're going to do to a purple owl like me? Let's go over this a little bit. The country has been around 
for roughly 400 years, okay, give or take. And the people who built the country, you know, the people of African ancestry, they haven't been treated right in this country. They were enslaved long after this country was created by breaking off from another dictatorial rogue nation state, the British, England, the United Kingdom, the UK for short. You know, if you do that to the people who built your nation, I wonder what you're going to do to somebody that's, well, purple. Ow! <sighs> Defense and violence have been confused for millennia. I just want to say this. This will serve as an endorsement. Yeah, an endorsement. I know you're going to get a hoot out of this. A hoot and a holler. Indeed. This will serve as an endorsement of a little known, well, Depends on how much you follow the news nowadays. You know, the news, people used to watch the news, I guess, back in the day. Whatever day that was, they never tell us. They just say, back in the day. You know, they're really talking about the day that they were in charge of everything. But anyway, I digress. You know, this is going to serve as an endorsement. This one is going to make you Nazis, you white Nazis, you white, white Nazis, because not all white people, but just the white, white Nazis. This one is going to make you upset. This is going to be an endorsement video. I'm proud, proud to finally endorse the defense, the defense, not violence, the defense of the marginalized, the defense of the neglected, the defense of the impoverished, the defense of the weak, the defense of the maligned, the defense of those who were enslaved by you. You see, if you enslave people, you never can really grow out of that kind of thing. Kind of sticks around with you for a long period of time. Can't just easily get rid of that. Got to do a lot of mental work to get rid of that. And you know, some people, like anything else, they put in the work. And some other folks, they didn't put in the work. And you're going to find out in five days where it's safe and where they actually put in the work and where they ain't put in no work. Defense and violence has been confused for millennia an endorsement video of the defense of people. You know, I heard about this group. I get this. Supposedly this group That's outlined in the Constitution. That's why I whispered it. Because we don't want to talk about the Constitution anymore. Especially of this great old nation. Oh, that's right. We're trying to make it great again. What a joke. Tell me, or remind me, 
when it was ever great? Was it great when there was slavery? Ah, uh, was it great when you were all gallivanting around the world, bombing and murdering kids? But now you care about kids, right? Sure. You know, people tell themselves whatever lies they need to tell themselves to get themselves through the other lies that they've been telling themselves for centuries. Now, this is going to serve as an endorsement video. This is going to make the white, white, white Noxy mad. There's this group I heard about it's making their own on all the networks. But not on American networks. Get this, they're not making the rounds on American networks. They're making the rounds internationally. They're internationally known. Except for you don't hear about them in the United States at all, which is kind of weird because they're based in the United States of America. Kind of weird. Kind of like they're trying to suppress the news. Oh my God. They're suppressing the news. Oh my God. They're not telling me what's happening on the news. Kind of like you don't hear about them. Nah. This is going to be an endorsement video. This is going to make the white, 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 white Nazis mad. Because this is about them as much as it is anything else. This is going to make them mad. So I got to check around. Yeah, you heard me. Let me say it a little bit louder. You're as racist as fuck. And we all found out that you're as racist as fuck. You didn't change. You just put on an act. And there's a lot of bad actors in this movie. Because now we're nearing the climax, the end. Of the movie. This is going to serve as an endorsement. Man, how come I don't even hear the people that are maligned and being oppressed? I don't hear anything from them about this organization. They would be benefited by it. You think they would at least talk about it? You know, the folks that have a platform. Oh, I get it. There. Yeah. Nazi, 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 Nazi trash. Yep, you hear me. Nazi trash. Yeah. 
you know. This video is going to serve as an endorsement. I proudly and without any reservation endorse the N to the F to the A to the C. The NFAC, baby. What you know about that? Probably very little because your media, that your current dictatorial leader who's got an agenda and his agenda ain't about you, well, you probably haven't heard that on the supposed fake news. No, the news is not fake. It's very real. It's just not informative. Because they ain't gonna tell you dummy shit. 